Hello everybody, Shockwave here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Warframe Oberon. And a lot of people might have thought that um, I don't like Oberon from my previous video on the Phoenix Intercept. And oh yeah, I really don't feel like doing the Stratos Emblem and Rift Sigil, so I'm not going to be doing those videos. And oh yeah, the Rift Sigil is a real pain in the ass to do, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, a lot of people might have thought that I don't like Oberon based on my last video, but he's actually one of my favorite Warframes, and he, I'm going to show you what mods I have on him. Like, yes, you can have a lot of damage with Oberon, but I don't use him for damage. I just, I use him to knock down all the enemies. So what I have on him is high efficiency and range with moderate strength. So I got the Transient Fortitude, Intensify, Overextended, Vitality, Prime Flow, Fleeting Expertise, Stretch, and Streamline. Oberon can be a pretty good Warframe, but as he stands right now, I don't think he's the best Warframe for endgame gameplay. One reason is being that his armor isn't quite as high as some of the better ones, like better frames. His, he isn't as high as Rhino, yet he's not as low as the, or he's not as high as Valkyrie or Rhino or even Chroma, but he isn't as low as like Loki or Volt with like that 15 armor. <laughs> well, he is, Volt does have better armor now than on his Volt Prime version, but yeah, this is how I mod my Oberon, and one of his downsides is he doesn't have enough energy, in my opinion, to be very useful in the end game. Because right now I have a prime flow on of 200 200% power max, and he has 350 power. A Loki with this same mod will have about 600 energy. I can switch that out right now and show you. If I can find my Loki Prime. Yeah, here he is. Do, 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 do. Waiting for it to load. There we go. Yeah, 612. Well, power, technically. But, yeah. Oberon's moves. The only one that I pretty much use, or only two that I use, are Renewal and Reckoning. Renewal is for when his health goes down, and you can revive your health. He's not very good for reviving teammates that are across the map, but if you're doing like a defense or something, like a ODD for example, or Roken Dire like defense, then he's good for um healing, but yet to have the very good power efficiency f to be able to heal them for longer and power strength does affect it but if the blind rage is not worth putting on and then the, of course there's reckoning that I use basically you pick up all the enemies within your vicinity and then you slam them down and if you kill them with reckoning there's like a 50% chance for them to drop a health orb and also it gives them a radiation proc in which they get blinded basically and they start attacking each other right here it says that they're blinded for four seconds but whenever I do it I have like no duration on this class and it affects them a lot longer than four seconds so you got like 14 percent duration it yeah it it's a bit weird on how it works, but it blinds them. They attack each other, and when they fight, when they do attack each other, they don't stop until one of them's dead, or we just we kill them off. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a few um, clips of Oberon's power. Be quiet, Ordis. I don't care. Be quiet. All systems nomino. It always sounds like you're saying nomino. Like, what the fuck? Anyway. Like, the way Oberon's Reckoning works, think of his move as a column. 
and everything within that column or within that circle everything is affected below it and everything is affected above that radius so it's not a circular power in other words so yeah those um clips I'm about to show you will make a lot more sense That energy disappeared. Not fair. Keep fighting. Another opportunity to extract from here soon. 